Hey y'all, be reacting to Future Folk Tales episode 5, and I'll be starting my reaction from the minute and 30 second mark in. One, zero, go. Hopefully it doesn't start with Maha mentioning her name and all that kind of jazz. But hey, so far it looks... Right, so far it looks like it's going to have a different kind of start. And hey, I'm actually curious to see how video games in their world actually work too, because... Well, all the future tech, I actually want to see their interpretation. I wonder if they're going to go the lazy CG route, or are they... Hmm. Kind of like how it's got a nice sense of immersiveness by looking at it from a first-person view. And I actually put the smile to my face. I actually seen hand-drawn vehicles. There's actually some pretty nice animation cuts there. And that's nice because had they taken the lazy CG route, it would have looked like an outdated PS1, PS2 like game. Uh, this way, it actually looks something like something futuristic. So I actually really, really dig that stylistic choice. Oh. Ah, there she is. <laughs> Ma. Uh. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, you can't really back out of chores, especially when you need to help your, the elderly. Alright, at least they're owning up to that mistake. And hey, well an episode where we don't have the recap of her name is Ma- No! <laughs> You've gotta be back kidding me! It's five episodes! Do we need to be reminded about her name? <laughs> Do we? I think at this point, almost everyone who watches the series knows her name is Ma. At least... I remember the name. Hmm. Holy. Oh, all right. That actually makes sense. Oh, that sounds like some. Really big of pain though if you have a lot of books though. Oh, I even like the little bone device. <laughs> I always like it there in the background. Hey though, that's life. You can't digitize everything, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh, actually, it would be nice to see a transition straight into one of the folktales from the get go. <laughs> You know, I actually like how this time he's actually taking things seriously. Hmm. Whoa, we should be <laughs> we should be careful because he could get a hernia if he's not. Yeah. I'm not sure Maha and Rahyan. Rahyan is being a bit reckless there. <laughs> Looks like he's yeah, he's gonna trip. Or not. I felt like I've seen that line multiple times in the previous episodes, too. Don't get me wrong, I like the series and all, but dang, they gotta stop with the repetition just a teeny teeny bit. And think of new dialogue lines, I'm just saying. Hmm. Damn, that's pretty young. Fell. That name sounds pretty badass. Oh! <laughs> Dang! If he's that strong, I don't imagine the monstrosity of strength he's gonna have once he hits his potential physical peak or max physical fitness. I mean, I guess it's not so surprising there. With that type of strength, you might as well utilize it to your... Yeah, it kind of looks... Uh, it's, this talk kind of reminds me of a mixture of... Of Brock's and Gary's from Pokemon. Give me some Gary vibes, though. <laughs> oh, 
Although I just wonder how far did that man travel just to get someone to open the lid though. <laughs> Okay, that is a fee that definitely I can imagine being like, yeah, you'd want to get someone like him to actually do it. Holy! <laughs> Holy macaroni! Though Fawn definitely wouldn't want to, definitely wouldn't want to be the type of guy to want to fucking incur <laughs> the wrath of. <laughs> Jeez. And speaking of which, there's the only thing I like about this series. I always draw like the most detailed rugs, some of the most. And they look really, really beautiful too. Ah. Uh, I mean, I have to say, absolute power corrupts. So it ain't surprising that he's going to start feeling himself a bit too strongly now. Yo, what? Ah. Uh. Oh. I wonder if he would do it or he's going to want payment for that. Because if he's getting arrogant. I mean, I understand wanting payment, but dude's a kid. I wouldn't be asking. I would have done it for free. I would have, if I were to ask the money, I'd be from adults. Aww. I mean, I can see why they'd have that opinion. Because if, if there was a kid, I would have at least, I would have done it for free, you know? But I understand, though. It's not easy to come by money. And Delphon probably looks like he's probably an orphan too. Uh, now he's just toying with this poor man. <laughs> ah. Like, are just just smiling looking at this dude's fucking fury and pain? That should teach him. Although... I wonder what's gonna cause him to change his ways. Is he gonna be... Is he gonna develop a crush on someone? And maybe his strength is not gonna woo that woman or girl that he's gonna go after? Or... Hmm. Oh, Grandpa looks pretty sweet. Oh. oh. Okay, that's that's cute. All right. I like how there at the very least you see, even though Dapto is kind of selfish, there is certain moments where he's not completely selfish. He actually has some rays of sunshine in that heart. So. Okay, that's a lot. Yo. I 
actually want to see the contrast. You see all these manly men actually doing it that way, but I want to see how Delphon or Alpha is going to do it. <laughs> it's like epic to your strength. I'm actually really, really curious now. Oh, even he's helping out. That's nice. Uh, the problem with that is the bananas are probably going to be in rough shape in the fall on the, in the floor that way. Yo, when he says one down, it sound something like he said, bitch, Roddy. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. That's definitely. Yo, these guys are pretty good aim. If there was like a basketball in those times, it'd probably be a pretty dang good basketball player. Probably a center. Or with that aim, he'd probably be a point guard with some epic tier three. Three point shot skills with that kind of stroke. <laughs> no. Mm. Holy wait, outloaded is that old man. <laughs> Yo, is he gonna actually finesse himself into some free labor? <laughs> because if that's the case, that'd actually be a good moral lesson where if you're not careful, your ass is gonna be finessed even if you're got the best physical traits. Actually, how about feeling the old the old the grandpa is actually gonna win? Because there's way too much build-up. Oh. No, honestly, how is the old man going to win, though? There's got to be a twist here. I don't think it's going to end that easily. And then the music playing, so. Actually, I like how he's doing it gracefully. You see his approach. Mm. Okay. I see, you know what, I, I, it makes sense how he was able to predict that, the old man, because he saw the boy earlier, and, and you know, they kind of foreshadowed that. He, because there was multiple instances where he was actually keeping an eye out on, on how the fun actually handled things, where he was all like, just taking his time because of his speed and all that. So I could see why. He challenged him. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if he's going to charge him coins, though. Hope not. Okay, he shouldn't go. Okay, he shouldn't go. Okay, that's going a bit too far because now he's just killing animals for a game and sportsmanship. And not sportsmanship, but for fun. Don't get... <laughs> the thing is though with no one watching 
They could literally be helping the Grams right now and win the competition. Oh, wait, no. What am I saying? He's an honorable man. Kind of feels like it could be 100, though, at that point. Mmm. Well, yeah, with the rough housing. They would definitely be in rough shape. Because the grandpa, he was treating the fruit with care and compassion. He was treating it reckless, recklessly. That's the unfortunate thing. And I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen eventually, too. Because I thought he was rough housing with the bananas way too much. Just with the way he was just freaking breaking the trees and all that. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. Mm hmm Yeah! <laughs> oh. I actually like the moral of the story, how we actually got screwed over by that. Mm-hmm. And I kind of know this from experience because I actually, in the past, out of curiosity, I actually did partake in peach picking just out of curiosity. So I actually, actually really, really know that all too well where you have to, you just can't pick fast. You got to pick the fruit that's right. You can't just pick like a green peach or anything like that. You can't pick a running peach either. But you can just knock it into the floor. So yeah, I actually really, really know that feeling. But honestly, though, with the way Dalfon was acting, this is going to be a good moral lesson, and it, should, and it should humble him. And hopefully, it can help him pr prove him as an individual, too. Oh, man, look at how that was making me hungry now. Hmm? I mean, yeah. He did lose the bet. <sighs> no. I think now he's going to realize that his strength it could be best utilized for protection because it's... Oh my. How, how did that even happen? Oh. Honestly, no, he shouldn't be harming himself because he legitimately did try to help him out. It's just unfortunate circumstances, but I like that though. That fell owns up to it even though it's not his fault directly, but indirectly. It shows you how much he's maturing as an individual, realizing that utilizing his strength recklessly, it could arm the people around him. Okay, now, this is some nice badassery. Okay, if he's able to do that without press of oxygen and lift up the boat like that, mama. Okay, now his fans, for a second, they look fans of a freaking man of <laughs> 27 years old with max, max strength. Oh. Aww. All right, that's cute. 
Yes! <laughs> and I like that. Hopefully then he realizes how how we should utilize his strength from now on. I mean, the music's pretty good, too. Good, he actually deserves to be... Aww, oh, that's cute! Aww. <laughs> he deserves that hung doll. Especially for what he did. there. <laughs> and aside from that, oh yes! Good, good. I, I hope we actually get to see him as a full grown man though. Aww, <laughs> I wanted to see Defel's design though. But I'm cool with what we got, though. I like how you're just looking at Ayan. <laughs> I always love the chemistry between these three kids. I actually don't mind a full episode focused on just those three kids in the future setting. <laughs> and he's probably wants just some attention. <laughs> well, what is that he's doing to the father? <laughs> oh, it sounds so wrong. <laughs> oh. This should definitely just be a uh, bunny after that. <laughs> Oh, wow. Talk about full, unfiltered, unbridled rage. Alright, I gotta say, this episode was comfy just like the other ones. Now, as far as future folktale episodes go, this is probably the weakest. And I would say if I were to rate it from a skill of 1 to 10, with 1 being abysmal, 10 being exceptional, 5 being average... I thought it was still an above average 6 out of 10 episode for the most part. I mean, as far as future Folktales episodes go, it did have some pretty darn good visuals. I'll give it credit for that. But, it's kind of starting to fall into the same trappings various times, like with Maha. I understand the first episode Maha explained that she's a 6 year old elementary school student. And her explaining... And her explaining things about her relatives and all, and that's cute and adorable. But we don't need that five episodes back to back. Insane with the whole explanation of how her grandmother tells stories. She knows a lot of stories. I'm like, yeah, I know. I've seen the five episodes. I've seen the whole thing. I think at this point, you would have thought the writers would have just stopped it after maybe the second or third episode stopped recapping information we already knew so that's why from a story standpoint I can't just be all like yeah everything was executed wonderfully because I'd be a liar if I if I didn't call it on on that when it did that kind of stuff because I call out other animes too when they do that when they recap the same thing for multiple episodes at the start when we, at that point we already know the characters names so I can't just be all like, yeah, I'll give it a pass. The only other anime that kind of can do that well is Healing Good Precure, because in that series, at the very least, you kind of have, like, uh, Nodoka with the other girls that's kind of disconnected from the narrative being all, like, explaining their names, how they're a team. It works there. Here it doesn't, because when you have Maha Recap, it's within the narrative of the episode. It ain't a disconnected, cutesy scene. That how Healing Good Precure does it, so... That's why I think from a narrative standpoint, it's starting to show a little bit of weaknesses. 
And while I do like the Defoe story itself, kind of felt it was a bit rushed. I felt like maybe they should they should have like maybe shown Defoe a bit older, you know, and all that kind of jazz. But I'd say for the most part, it was interesting enough to not be boring. And I did love the sequences where Aeneas was having that outburst at the end. So there were good moments here and there. And seeing Daphil actually get hugged and get the food and all that at the end was really, really nice. And him actually re realizing his arrogance and growing as an individual. So there were good bits in this episode here and there that I liked. And that's why I thought it was still an above average 6 out of 10 episode. And the visuals were above average. And I do have to appreciate that. They were better than the Future Folktales Center. I'd say this is the best Future Folktales animated episode by far. I don't, I don't think there's any, I don't even think that's up for debate. So that's why I thought this episode was still good, regardless of its downsides, because I think it, it had more positives than downsides. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how you feel about Miraction in the comment section below. Rate the bid, share it, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Because I'm definitely excited to see what the next episode has. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching my video, and have a great and safe day, everyone. Bye-bye.